All cricket fans really wanted for Christmas was a competitive test match and that's exactly what they've got after an enthralling opening day at the MCG. At Stumps, Australia is 9 for 337 thanks largely to Matthew Hayden's century. Indian skipper Anil Kumble in great form, he took five wickets. It was India's day. It wasn't looking like it was going to be India's day. At none for 135, I think the effigies were starting to be created <laughs> back home and the matches were being lit, but yes. then came the wickets. Then came the wickets. Um, yeah, Zahir Khan, outstanding three wickets. Kumbhai, as we mentioned, five wickets. However, it wasn't all India's day. <laughs> I mean, Surav Ganguly, 100th test for him, and we're celebrating the fact that uh, he's a wonderful cricketer. India's best ever left-hander. Some have rated him, but he's certainly not India's best fielder. Uh, that looked bad when we saw it first. Harbhajan Singh, certainly another of our favourites. Certainly wasn't too impressed there, sorry mate. But the replay just paints such a horrible picture for Suraj. <laughs> he just got it all very, very wrong, didn't he? Yeah, Suraj, probably lucky in some respects to be playing his 100th test, considering he was dropped from the side and his career seemingly over when Greg Chappell was coaching India, but he's come back and he's doing pretty well, apart from the odd fielding mishap. Yeah, he's fine now. No effigies of him being burnt uh, at this present point in time after the double 100 against Pakistan before getting here. Yeah. Greg Chappell, though, yeah. on the other hand, they're probably still lining up to... Uh, yeah do those effigies. That anyway. mishap aside, a great day for India and haven't we got a test series ahead of us? Yeah. The day after Christmas, so, but the presents kept coming for Australia. Uh, we're gonna have a bat Once the anthems were completed, <laughs> the Indians began this Boxing Day tradition with enthusiasm, but no luck. That all belonged to the Australians. Oh, and he's padding up there, but... After the shaky start, Hayden and Jakes began to find the sweet spot. That's a great strike. The partnership passing 100, Jake's reaching his half century. Catch it's a cry, one catch that. After lunch at last, some joy for India. That's out, that's out, that's beautifully bold. Jake's out for 66, then Zahir cleaned up Ponting. Got him, beautiful wicket. Hussey added just two. Oh, India back in the contest, but Hayden held the Australian innings together. Matthew Hayden loves the Boxing Day Test match. It is not a love that goes unrequited. His 19th century in Australia more than any other batsman. India was soon doing some celebrating of its own. And taken. It is. I thought it went down for a second, but no, that's the fourth wicket. Clark out for 20, then Hayden's knock came to an end. That is it. Matthew Hayden has gone. Simons and Gilchrist can be a lethal combination, but Kumble deceived them both. When the Indian skipper trapped Lee, he had five for the innings. The new ball working Here wonders for Zahir. Oh, he's flat. We just found ways to get out. Um, but having said that, the wicket still is quite difficult. And I expect it to be that way pretty much right throughout the test match. Um, in fact, that's why we really thought that we're best off um, batting first. Yeah, I thought... Uh... Uh, you know, 130 for no loss. It was important that we came back well into the into the Test match. One wicket of Jakes and uh, and Zahir bowled a beauty to Ricky Ponting, and then things started to happen. We were a bit unlucky early on. I thought, uh, you know, uh, both uh, RP and Zahir bowled brilliantly initially, but you should also give credit to the way uh, Matthew Hayden and Phil Jakes batted. So at the end of it, overall good day for us. You know, I think the intensity was good after lunch, uh, and uh, we kept at it. We kept coming uh, hard at uh, Australia and you know, I'm really happy with the way uh, all the uh, bowlers bowled. And uh, you know, to get nine wickets uh, on the first day after losing the toss, I think was a brilliant effort.